Hey, Twisted family, it's your girl here, Chauncey K. Robinson, a.k.a. Twisted CKR. And today, I am doing a Let's Play of They Are Here, Alien, Abduction, Horror. Uh, it is a demo of an upcoming game that I believe is set to come out in 2022. So next year, basically. Sounds so far away when you say it like that, but um, <laughs> knock on wood. Um, and so I am uh, going through this because, you know, I love horror. I love sci-fi. Um, and hey, these mesh both of them together. So we're going to see what this is about. From my understanding, I'm, I think, some sort of journalist who um, stumbles upon an alien abduction. So this is the demo. So we're gonna see how this goes and um, see if it's uh, cool or not, y'all. So they are here. Let's jump into it. Unexplained phenomenon occurred at Grayson Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception. Deliberate deception. <laughs> Reading. Uh, drawing attention to oneself or a sensation about an alien invasion. Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayson Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. I think it's a report. It's the editor and me. All right, let's start it. Task, talk to farmer Peter Sherman. Okay, my mouse is controlling stuff. I'm outside my car. Okay, guess I'll move forward then. Nice atmosphere. Press left mouse button to take a photo. Ah, photo. This is great material for a news report. Is it? Oh yeah, I guess the stars. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded like I was from Wisconsin just then. Uh, take, zoom, slide. I'm looking at the mouse objective. Um, okay, so that's just getting my bearings, y'all. Okay, we're gonna take it. Cool. All right, we're looking around. That's the car. All right. Sherman House. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I like the look. Very creepy. Atmospheric. <laughs> Scarecrow. Okay, I guess it doesn't want me to take a picture of the scarecrow. I can't seem to take the pictures on the wheel, though. Like, okay, so that's good to know. It seems like I can only take the pictures when it wants me to. Okay. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help my son and i went to check out the farm we'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other be careful peter sherman miss fox or mr fox it's miss fox okay so put it back okay so put it back pass inspect the house cool cool Okay, 
Okay, so it lets me know when I can touch stuff. I can't touch everything, which I kind of like. I feel like some of these games, they make it so you can touch everything, these walkthrough games, but it's like you don't need to touch everything. Old newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Why did I never know about this? Typos. Uh, mystery sky object seen here in Orona. Okay. Extraterrestrial hypothesis still unproved. members of the Sherman family. Photo. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Can't open the fridge. Okay. Looks like I have no choice but to go upstairs. Can't open any of the drawers either. So I'm not really doing that bad, good of an inspection because I can't touch any of this stuff. I mean, I would, like, wouldn't I want to look through some of this stuff? But let's go. I don't know why I thought that light was someone standing up there. I've been playing too many of these games. <laughs> okay. Very bare bones house. Photo in the photo, members of the Sherman family. Okay, darn right, that dog's part of the family. Something tells me something important might be over here. Members of the Sherman family, I guessed it. What is this? Can't seem to open this just yet. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh no! Oh. She that thing killed the dog! Y'all see that? It killed the dog! At that exact moment, I hear a dog outside my window. I know, I know. I hate when they kill the dog in these things. Hate it. I already don't like these aliens. They are definitely not friendly. We don't like that here. The music's changing too. Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Apparently, 
It belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange noises. Printed photo, a photo from the internet. Perhaps pre Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. It does. Printed photo, a photo from the internet. Another photo from the internet. Cool. Same caption. Farmer's Children Diary. Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. So this is what the diary says. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was de de deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above the ground. A huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Gravity, everything around me became blindly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Great material for a news report. Cold blooded. So it kind of tells you what to take a picture of, which I think is kind of cool that you don't like just get to take your own photos. Because I mean, me being as paranoid as I am when I play a game, I'm like, I gotta take a picture of everything. I never know what I might need.
scarecrow scared me. and then there's a whole thing about like having been abducted or something like that so it'll be interesting to see where this goes but i'm definitely intrigued i don't think we have enough alien abduction horror type stuff games out there uh we probably do honestly but you know i mean there's never um enough for more i mean usually with horror stuff it's like some ghost in a house or something so it'll be interesting and maybe they'll like infuse some more scientific stuff in there i also thought it was interesting that they played on the whole conspiracy theory of grays um there are people who think you know like the lizard people or the grays live among us type of a thing and that the the extraterrestrials that are grays are are not good ones so that's not just from this game people believe that too so that'll be interesting but yeah let me know what you thought about the demo uh you know this was pretty cool but let me know your thoughts did you like it do you like the walk around thing and click here click here or are you like oh i need more action i need some shoot 'em up type thing let me know and until then guys thanks for getting creepy with me